hello, hello. Hi, hello. How's it going? It's going great. How are you? I'm okay. I'm a little tired, but I'll get over it. All right. It's it's uh uh only a quarter to two in the morning here in uh, lovely New York City. Wow. Uh, New York yeah. caller. Wonderful. It's been a long time I up in New York. Hey, I'm calling over here. Okay. <laughs> All right. Everybody Excellent. Gets one. There you go. Well, hey, uh, you said it, not me. So there you go. Um, did you want to be on video or were you just wanting to do uh, audio tonight? Oh, well, uh, yeah, I certainly do. I, I went through hell and high water to get the setup going. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Well, uh, pop on your video. You should be able to. Um, I am sharing my screen. Okay. Up the, apparently, it's patching me back in. Oh, excuse. Oh, oh okay. Or not. Uh, oh, uh, I don't know. Trying to connect to the mainframe here. You got to, uh, like, I am an elder millennial hmm. uh, in, the th in the best sense of the word. All right. I am not able to stream in, but uh, oh. for anybody keeping screen. For anybody keeping score at home, my uh, Instagram is Steamboat Art, and you'll be able to see me and uh, the comics that I do. Steamboat yes. Art. Okay. I'll put that up on the screen. And what are your pronouns, by the way? Uh, he, him. All right. The classics. All right. Let me yeah, see if I can get this thing to work uh, as far as being able to see. So, uh, wait. So... Um, oh, I don't know if we have permissions to let you stream in. Can you, are you not able to just toggle your camera or whatever? Uh, well, I can, I can put on my camera, but I must warn you, I'm very ugly and I don't like, uh, I'm a little camera shy. Oh, well, don't, so. don't feel, no, please don't feel pressured. We can just do audio. I just, I, we don't have it set up to allow people to stream into this channel. And I don't know if we'd be able to fix that on a short notice. Um, oh, so don't, oh, don't please don't feel that. pressured or anything. It's no big deal. We can just do audio and it will be fine. Um, oh yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm great with that. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, uh, steamboat art. Welcome. Welcome to the show. Uh, extremely wonderful to have you on. Thank you so much for coming to the pride signal night, the first of its kind. Um, and, uh, uh, do you want to just let the chat know what you're all about? What, what, what's your, what's your, what's your channel? Your, your, your Instagram? What do you do? Hi gang. Uh, I have a link tree on top of the Instagram and that'll be pretty easy to find. Awesome. Uh, and it's got, uh, everything, discord, YouTube, Twitter. I don't know why you would want to do that, but I have a Twitter, um, and I have a Discord too, which I I also stream, and I put my schedule up on there. Oh, cool! And uh, yeah, I do. Uh, I also do an art stream, where I do you know if we're talking about the hits, uh, video games, politics, mostly drawing. Nice. Uh, yeah, I actually. Uh, you guys were talking earlier about like trying to balance between like drawing and doing politics. Yeah. Um, if my if my microphone wasn't cut out for the first forty five minutes of my first three streams, don't look them no. up. It's, uh, they're absolutely unwatchable. And uh, oh yeah, you know what? The best part is like that's okay. I should probably preference too. Like I am mint, brand spanking new, and Demon Mama. I like you very much, but I have a confession. Oh yeah. This cool. is the very first stream I'm ever watching of you. Oh my God! Well, that's okay. I'm happy to have you in. Welcome. I'm sure you will end up watching many, many more. Uh, after all, this is a amazing community, and I am very proud of my videos. I think you'll quite enjoy them. You should be. Uh, everybody seems like they're having a really great time, and they this are. is super. This is super great. Please have spicy takes. Ha 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 Every uh, trans people rule, gay people fire. Rule. That's what I'm talking uh, about. We're on the right wave. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, let, uh, now let's keep keep it snappy. Uh, socialism rules. All right. All uh, right. Bernie all right. A, well, close enough. You know. All right. Good enough. Bernie's Bernie's a cool guy. Uh Bernie's sick. I love Bernie. Union guy. Yeah. Uh, all right. I I see local fifty two. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah. Uh, by the way, guys, uh, please, 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 please support the WGA writers. Please. We are, they yes. are still striking. I have to do, uh, uh, I have to do an update on that situation. I've been so busy that I haven't done an update, even though I said I was gonna, I've been following it personally. 
but but yeah, um, I got to do it. I got to do an update on the WGA strike uh, because I mean, I did a, I did a coverage on the first day and and basically read out their demands and uh, uh, called people to support them as much as possible. The uh, the the companies are 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 uh, are making some crazy decisions. Uh, some of your favorite shows are going to go right in the bin because they're pushing forward without writers. Well, they're going to pay the price let, for that. Let me, Oof. Well, they well, they they already are, and I'll tell you because I work as an electrician on set, mm -hmm. and uh, the reason why the shows are getting worse is because they are. Yeah, we are out streaming. Of out streaming, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Uh, we are out filming m probably max fourteen or sixteen hours a day, uh, every day. Yeah, no, it's not great. We have a thing colloquially called Fratter Days, where we work from Friday morning into Saturday morning, uh, which is pretty great. That's miserable. Uh, now, oh, it certainly is. Um, but you know, we have. I got to pay my student loans. People got to get paid. Yeah, of course. I mean, that's that's the they they got you. You know, everybody's got to make rent. That's how they get you. Um, that is brutal. It's, and I mean, the work conditions in the film industry have never been uh, have never been famously good. They've always been famously bad. But that is oh, that is brutal. Uh, collapse almost collapsed from heat stroke on set once. Uh, oh my god! Hot day. Yeah, uh, an actress who uh, whose name rhymes with Gebra Dessing uh, basically stole the air conditioner meant for the crew, for one of her tents, and put the big air conditioner, industrial air conditioner for like 20 people into her tent. Jesus. Yeah, no, it's not great. It's not great. And, uh, uh, by the way, chat, uh, pardon me for my ADHD brain. Um, uh, you know. No, this is an ADHD-friendly almost... stream, don't worry. <laughs> uh, oh, thank God. No, it's almost 2 in the morning. I'm, I'm, starting to, <laughs> I'm starting to fall asleep in my chair. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah. Uh, the cla I see this loops back into like what my comic is about. I mm -hmm. see a lot of things through a class lens because the diff the class difference between uh, people who work on set and people in front of the camera is stark. Oh, it's insane. Stark. I don't know stark. if you know this. You probably don't because you don't watch my stuff. I went to film school, um, right nice, in, in New York actually. Uh, I went to up in Rochester, so. Ah, wow. the racha What do you mm -hmm. think of the garbage plate? Oh, oh my God, I miss him so much. <laughs> I miss the, was... I miss the garbage plate so much. Oh my there... God, uh, there's so much food up in upstate that I miss so much. God, it's like oh, uh, the pizza was fucking legendary. The fucking garbage Ooh. plates. You've got the uh, the oh my God, there was this at at my school. There was this uh, buffalo chicken melt that they were just famous for, and you just you can't get it anything like it nobody else can nail it quite as well their own little buffalo sauce it's yeah i miss it i miss the food so much uh what was your what was your favorite place to get a plate um oh my god uh i'm not, not even gonna remember restaurants now i mean i got a lot of them. i stayed on campus a lot because I, I didn't have a car at the time but um Fuck, there was another oh my god, what was the name of the restaurant? I'm never gonna I'm never gonna remember it now. It's been since twenty fifteen. Oh my god. Nick Ta uh Nick Taho yeah. Nick Tahoe's. Yes! Nick Tahoe's! Oh my god, we literally ordered from there multiple times. Ah, so good. Good shit. Oh, that now Oh, people are asking what a garbage plate is. I should explain. A garbage plate yeah, is a uh, is a it's a Rochester Buffalo area food. Uh basically uh Think uh, a giant bowl with macaroni salad, uh, hot sauce, uh, chili, um, uh, a meat of your choice. Sometimes it'll be like a like a hot dog or uh, a, a fried fried chicken, depending on the place that you go, depending on your tastes. Um, and French I fries. Just straight up burger. Yeah, like uh, it's incredible. Uh, garbage plates are are awesome and. Uh, they were they are horrific for you, but also they're good for your soul, and uh, so you should have them from time to time. And if anybody's in upstate New York, don't be deferred by the name. They are incredible. It's a ton of stuff. Yes. Yeah, it's amazing. No, it's like you will never you you will eat that and you'll be full for a day and a half, and it's amazing. Um, yeah, it's it's so good. Um, fuck, I had so many things. I'm trying to remember. There was another place that I went to uh, near the campus. I, I, 
I'm trying to remember, I think it was literally just called Heroes and or something along that lines. And they just did these, they did garbage plates and they did these huge hoagies that were just Ooh. fucking legendary. I mean, killer. Uh, they had one that was called the Stoner that was like mozzarella sticks, Doritos, like four different types of meats, no. cheese, uh, all toasted and melted together. You'd get this big fat uh, uh, overloaded sandwich, just amazing, legendary. God Heart damn. attack inducer, yeah. Uh, that's a, that's the best sandwich though. You gotta know, you, look if your if your pinky is not twitching after the third bite, it's not a real sandwich. Tr literally true. Also, there was a. I know this is gonna be a hot take because some people don't love. Uh, oh, look the, out! The chain, look out. but the uh, Sal Salvatore's Pizza up in upstate New York. It's a it's like a local chain up there. Most of their pizza, mid. However, their country sweet pizza, I miss it so much. It is, it, it, it kills me because there's, n I have not had any uh, pizza that is that like perfect mixture of like sweet and savory. Uh, country sweet is like another like local thing up in upstate. They're like a, a fried chicken chain that does, they have, they make their own little sauce that, that everybody knows. But Salvatore's did a, a partnership uh, with this, this. They would make a huge ass square pizza, this massive thing with this. Yeah, instead of having the, on the uh, tray, Hell yeah, yeah, amazing. And they would they used the country sweet as a base. They used the it was like a like a, almost like a barbecue, like a sweet barbecue type base. And I don't generally love a barbecue pizza, but they got the ratio smack down, just bubbling with cheese. Fuck loads of this sauce. It was this, it was just sweet, cheesy, savory mess. And it was incredible. And I've never had a pizza even come close to it. Uh, so goddamn good. God, it was so good. Anyway, I'm, I'm ranting about all this food. I, I, I just thought you'd think it was cool. Cause I mean, I, I, I never finished film school, but I, I, I worked, um, film was my passion. And I mean, it actually ultimately led me to being a streamer where I was able to apply some of my skills that I learned there uh, from, you know, working. I used to film baseball. I used to film all kinds of stuff uh, and also working on little films and stuff. Uh, then I said, you know what? Uh, I don't think I want to do the actual films. I think I want to find a way to use these skills elsewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had a, oh man, I, I made I made a film while I was at RIT and it, it was a disaster. I had a good time and obviously all student films are disasters. Every one of them, even the ones that- I was about, I yeah. I was going to say, college is the perfect time to fuck up on a grand scale. With oh, we fucked it up so bad. I fucked it up so yeah. bad. Oh, my God. It was it was a fuck up. But we had a very interesting time making it. And, uh, uh, and, and I learned so much. I learned so much fucking shit. Uh, I, I, I also learned uh, the power. Uh, truly, I learned the power of of, of teamwork uh, and what happens when you don't have teamwork and when you have a a important member of your crew that is a that is not that is not a, that is a flake is like can destroy the entire project. Oh my god, it was a wild right. ride. Anyway, right. yeah. D D Mama, imagine that, but with fifty million dollars attached to it. That's that's the film industry. Sorry, nightmare, guys, nightmare, get, nightmare. Sorry, guys, doesn't get any better. Uh, oh my God! There was this saying. Uh, I had uh, my film teacher, uh, uh, who like like film film. Like when we when we did uh, when I was learning how to do uh, to load film cameras and all that stuff. Um, he had a saying. He passed out a thing at the beginning, and it was like, I'm trying to remember. I'm see if I can pull it from memory. He said the 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 film industry is a shallow money trench, uh, uh, full of uh, full of dogs, whores, and backstabbers. There is also a dark side, um, and, th and that, that is literally what he handed out to us. That was the first thing that he handed out in our class. It was just like this guy had such a vibe. I loved him. He was so great. He he used to do films for Kodak. Um, he was like one of their he was like one of their main uh, 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 camera guys uh, for a bunch of their film projects. Whenever they had new film, they were testing. He would shoot the. Uh, he would run camera for their for their test films. He was a super talented guy, but man, was that a way to start off a class? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah, he was uh, cool, but yeah. Demon Mom. Yeah. Let me, uh, let me talk about something lefty real fast. Please, because please. I want I want everybody I want everybody to know that I got cred. Do it. Uh, 
Oh, I, can't, I don't think we can take Tim Pool seriously anymore, right? No. Come first on. of all, first of all, I mean, I, I I said this about like when Elon got Twitter. Someone, yeah. some, you know, throwing red meat to all the liberal users was just like, can't we just send John Stewart to talk to Elon <laughs> Musk? And I'm just like, and I responded to that person and I said, you know, the only way you make Elon Musk go away is that we all have to stop pretending to be impressed. Yes. And that, and it works so good on paper, but it will never happen. It's like, you okay, know, it was like I, trying okay, to. But, but, okay, that moment on me. when when he went on stage and bombed in front of Dave Chappelle's little cooked audience that 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 oh, that shit. self-selected audience and he bombed man that must have that's done a number on his psyche you know that's still getting to him that this and, and also oh. listen this is a man who has never gotten a hug from his father and made it everybody else's problem beyond true it's, it's the same thing with Tim Pool you have a family that hates you you try to act like a tough guy with a sword and a gun on top of a picture of a cock. First and foremost, that's the wrong fucking sword. It's not a <laughs> it's not a katana that makes you look like a badass. It's the wakizashi, which is a fake sword. <laughs> um, thank you. Yes, Uncle Gumball, toys on his wall. And you are you Literally. fucking telling me you're are you fucking telling me with a straight face that you're gonna look at me seriously and sh what are you gonna do if I say your hat looks stupid, Tim? You gonna shoot me with your fucking flintlock pistol? What I gotta worry about a fucking blunderbuss underneath your fucking desk? No, oh, he's hardcore, don't you know? Yeah, oh, no. no, he's not. He's about, as, he's about as hardcore as a broad side of my ass. Fuck that guy. Yeah, oh, the fuck cool the skateboard. Shut up. I mean, you, okay, I was talking about this earlier with another caller, but man's been losing his shit lately. If you've seen any of his conversations, he can't keep his cool for shit. I don't know if you've, uh, I don't know if you've seen any of his conversations. He had a conversation with Lance from the Surfs recently, and he had a conversation yeah, with Emma Vigland of the Majority Report, a tra uh, national you, treasure. You mean, you mean Emma Roasted Toast Vigland? Yeah, the one, the one and only national treasure, by the way, Emma Vigland, national treasure. Okay. Um, uh, here's the thing. All of the all of the argument tropes that are just like, you know, uh, you know, you're a beta male. You you have to like scrunch up and you're scared stuff like that. Tim, like, he was so angry. I cringed so hard from him, like trying to make fun of her. I almost became a singularity. Like the man sucks at what he does, but he's he just convinced blows. a bunch of twelve years. It, yes, I do sound the, like Joe Pesci. It, it's just like. I don't know. Like he, it's a mir He's a miracle. Uh, I and I gotta give him credit for that. I I never thought uh, that there would be a, a like that a guy with so little confidence would ever be able to accomplish a, a channel of that size. But I mean, I guess it's just because he channels what what people want to hear, right? Like that's that's got to be it because uh, the 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 lack of 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 any sort of spine. I mean. God, I, I, every time I think of Tim Pool, I just think of that conversation with the, um, that he had with the, uh, uh, the, 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 there was like a lady who wrote a book on dating and he's like, yeah, I just, you know, I, women aren't interested in me. I just, I feel like right now, I, I just feel like I'm never going to be able to get married. Cause I just, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's this political and he's whining. He's sitting here with his guest crying about how he can't get laid and i'm just like how does anybody look at this guy and like and think yeah this is the guy i want to watch this is the guy i want to get my political takes from the guy who's crying on his show to his guest about how he just can't get laid i'm just i just it blows it's me hilarious. away it's hilarious when you know that he's not like he's not talking to you admit yeah. He's talking yeah. to the 15-year-olds, and I want to say I was there. I had the libertarian pin on my hat, yeah. and I had, like, uh, you can't tell me what to do. And then, you know, you realize that, oh, you know, the government works this way. And actually, the things that I complained about... Anyway. <laughs> well, sorry, uh, you yeah, but, cut uh, out there for a second. No, yeah. I intentionally stopped because I tried to oh. make a joke. I was just oh like, no, you're you're good. Like I mean, I just you'll... I don't know. There was a thing a, a, a long time ago. I used to do a lot more like right wing react content, like where I would like uh, 
you know, pick a pick a guy and roast the shit out of him. Pick a right winger, you know, whoever. And of course, like I don't even do that shit anymore because ninety percent of the time it's them. They they've gotten so boring. They've gotten so practiced that like there's nothing new to be said. They're not saying anything new. It's exactly. the ninth time they're mad about trans people this month. It's ridiculous. They used to actually credit to the credit to the right wingers of a few years ago. It was still repetitive as shit and stupid as shit. But um. But they had something. There was something going on there. And Tim Pool was one of the shows that we blacklisted uh, from reacting because it was so boring. I did a little spinner one day where I just put on a, I just let the chat vote for who we wanted. We put it on a little board and we spun the wheel and then it landed on Tim Pool and we tried to react to a Tim Pool video. And that shit, like his video videos, not his interviews where he has somebody interesting on to carry the conversation. His, his video, it was so fucking boring. And I'm like, is it really, is it even 15 year olds or is this all just, is this all just bots? Is it all just invented? Because I can't imagine being 15 and listening to his boring shit as he fall, like he himself is almost falling asleep reading some article from, I don't know, the Daily Grundle. And I'm just like, man, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> It's, it's so bad. It's so boring. I, I was, we, we couldn't do it anymore. I was like, I can't do this. I can't listen to him read the fourth article in a row as he just lazily stumbles over his words trying to explain like something that you're supposed to be offended at. But then, oh God, he's so bad at it. So I don't know. Maybe maybe the audience is carried completely from his podcast, you know, because he does have that Moon Lord guy on there, and Moon Lord's pretty funny. And then he gets on some he gets on some some guests who are you know obviously provide a lot of a lot of meat for the show to jump off of. Like I mean, he gets some wild people on there. But um, yeah, I don't know. And I really enjoyed the part where he really got upset that uh, Emma correctly pointed out that he attracts neo-nazis and yet he had kanye and nick fuentes on the show it's like uh, I, he, he thinks he thinks you're stupid like yeah, he, yeah. he wants he knows that you're stupid enough to buy into his shit because it's the fox news effect at this point who is watching fox news now the people whose brains have officially been turned to mashed potatoes yeah true anybody yeah, it's a anybody else would have just been like you know he's because Remember, okay, I talked about this on uh, on the inaugural stream a couple uh, a couple days ago. Remember the um, conservative MAGA rap? You know, their target you put a target on her back, target on her kids, and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody, it, like, there could be some real nasties in the chat right yeah. now. There could be some real, you know, like real ten out of tens running running shop. I guarantee you, nobody thinks about dick as much as these uber masculine, super straight, like ta we're targeting. You know, the the gay people are targeting your children. Oh, for nobody, sure. Nobody, nobody thinks about children's genitals more than conservative men. Oh, for sure, one hundred percent. I I want n no fucking daily, joke. These guys the, remember the, daily... the conservatives are the dudes who sit there fucking. Yeah, Matt Walsh and his fucking 16 is the most fertile age and their fucking purity balls and their fucking weird uh, uh, half their representatives are trying to push laws that that'll enable child marriage. These guys are pedocon theory stronger than oh, ever. Stronger than part, fucking ever. The best part when I was doing the comic the first time, right? Like when yeah. I'm setting up my like when I'm setting up my Instagram because I I, I posted the first comic in April. Mm -hmm. But I kept the but I kept the profile private because I was building my uh, my you know infrastructure as it were the internet infrastructure. Yeah. And uh, I said, man, this is gonna be really late to the party because it was about CPAC and you know how everybody's lost their collective minds. Um, and I'm like, man, CPAC happened in like March and now it's the end of April. Oh, man, I don't know how far this joke is gonna go. Um, but for anybody who read the first comic. Uh, the joke kind of keeps going, yeah. Because you'll it, it just, golly, how does it just keep happening? Their brains just... have spongified, and the it's it's it truly is a level of derangement. It's shocking. I mean, I, I I've talked about it on my stream a bunch. This idea, like they're just siloed off into their own reality, um, to a degree that's like really hard to grapple with sometimes. And like, again. 
I grew up in in the like in in a extreme right wing environment. I grew up in a in a in a Christian fundamentalist cult. Um, it was my whole family was pulled into this thing, and uh, so I'm I kind of understand what it's like to be a part of a social milieu that is completely siloed off from reality. Um, but this the Trump cult has managed to mainstream that type of just like alternative facts started with that type of thing. Now it's gone into just like, it, it's it's deranged how far, uh, how many holes have just been poked in these people's heads. And I, I do think you're right. I think that it's like, it's like people who's got, who've got like green, green slime leaking out their ears who are left watching this shit because their brains ah, have been slime. scrambled. <laughs> yeah, They've been scrambled in real time, but people just reach in and, and I'm just, I don't know. It does make me worried. I have to believe that there's some hope for some of these people because, uh, but I, I don't know though i sometimes you know, it, it makes me wonder if it's like that you know how like with uh with scam emails like they'll the the scammers will put misspellings in the emails because it will filter out people who are smart enough to look out for misspellings in an email and they want people who are dumb enough to overlook the misspellings right because that's their ideal yep. target somebody who will fall for the scam maybe it's like that and uh what's left of the trump cult is just the biggest dupes on the entire planet who will eat anything, and including Tim Pool? Uh, I don't know. Trying to tell you that Thanos was a uh, uh, Thanos was a uh, utilitarian, and uh, Captain America's a deontologist, or whatever bullshit he's fucking because spits that's out what, next. Because that's what happens when you throw ten dollar words around. You have the charisma of a turnip. Yeah. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. At the, yeah, Sam Cedar said it best. I don't, I don't care. care. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. <laughs> Incredible. Well, uh, uh, Steambo, we have reached the end of our time, but my God, this has been a fun conversation. Uh, you are hella funny, and uh, I, I hope you, you, you continue to make, make stuff on the internet. I hope you'll continue to hang around the community. Uh, I hope we'll get to talk I again just, in the future. I just want to say that everybody has been wondering why Vosh has been absent from his stream and why his throat is hurt well i'll tell you i was there in the room and i couldn't get any pictures of it because he's bad but i drew what happened and everybody <laughs> will have the proof i believe and you and, and i have a uh, feeling i know exactly what may have happened i have a feeling it may have involved horses and hay well, only one way to find out. Instagram.com slash steamboat art. Thank you, everybody. What a what a smooth what a smooth pitch. Wonderful to talk nice with you. I've had a blast. Out, baby. Have a great night. Thank you so much. Good night, guys. Take it easy. Bye. That was a fun conversation. That was a really fun conversation. I like Steamboat Art. Okay, guys? Steamboat Art's new to the community. I like Steamboat Art. You hear you heard it here, okay? Steamboat Art, fun as fuck. All right, Instagram, st Instagram, Steamboat Art. That was fun as fuck. That was a hilarious conversation. That was that was really fun.